The Otedela Bridge area of Lagos now looking calm as normalcy returns after this tanker explosion at about 3 a.m. this morning. This is what is left of what used to be a tank, a container full of fabrics right here at the Otedela Bridge. Eyewitnesses recount how the fire incident occurred. This truck carrying the fabrics lost breaking and it, it ran back and hit the hoi tanker there and I think there was an explosion. So we've been here about around um, 5 a.m. and firefighters have been here around at, I think about the same time and they put out the fire. I mean, a lot of people have been here, road safety, commissioner of police, civil defense and all that. And I mean, we're thankful. I mean, the damage is not much, as you can see. I mean, there are some cars we need to fix. All well, you know, we're thankful for it. I mean, it could have been worse, you know. There's another tanker down there, I and mean, in the NMPC tanker down there. Down there, they were quickly able to contain her because that one is loaded with petrol. Um, this one is loaded with diesel. You know, and that was how everything just started. But thanks to the LRU guys, they were able to, I mean, handle the situation. Although um, the container is like, I mean, this is total already, but I mean, at least our car is safe. The Otedela Bridge tanker accident is the second in 2020. The general manager. Ega State Traffic Management Agency says the agency has since stepped in to quell traffic in the area. Agencies were there, including the police, and um, they resolved it. And um, the truck has been taken off the road. Traffic on the road does now resume to normalcy. Um, earlier on, there was a lot of traffic on adjoining um, side roads like CMD, um, going all the way back to 7 up down to Alakbere. But um, one is happy to say um, things have resumed to normally. Of course, there's still a bit of residue, but um, traffic is now moving nicely right now. While millions of Naira has been lost, no death has been reported so far. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.